Tango 21, good evening. Good evening, Tango 21. Uh, we have the electric man on channel, but he's mobile. So, uh, he's uh, mobile. Okay, I thought I heard a bit of mobile flutter amongst the chat on the video at the moment. This is the JWR M2, as I discussed with you, and I've no doubt it's coming through all right, over. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, that was uh, sounds fine. Okay, well, I'll finish my video off and then I'll come back and have a chat with you. Yeah, right, I'll, uh, I'll stand by for your uh, next call. Okay, so here we are with the JWR M2 from 1981. JWR with John Wolf Racing, and they were going to produce an M1, they were going to produce an M3. Diplomat base station, but I presume they went bust or something, and it all never happened. But they did produce the M2, and if set up correctly, and if you've been looking at the other two videos on the setup procedure, there's a complicated synthesizer arrangement with a couple of, uh, of extra mixers in. Right, well, what does it have? Um, it's a basic set in line with the MPT 1382 specification, it has high low power. 4 watts in high position and in low position 0.4 of a watt on a volume squelch, TX light and you've got a green display which at that time in 1981 was uh, something quite nifty so we'll just have a flick through the channels, that was uh, chatting to um, Dan who's uh, about 9 miles away at Barraby I'm near Ancaster um, which is um, in the middle of Lincolnshire between Grantham and Sleaford the letdown on these sets is the weak squelch. But because we're in a, a rural position, it's going to work all right for us. But it wouldn't work in a town. It'd be sat hissing all day, and you'd be fed up with it. Oh, this is uh, no wonder I'd uh, arranged that chat with uh, with Moa Man. It's Saturday evening at 8 o'clock. Is it football or something on television? I'm glad I don't have a television anyway. One nine, I Roger. Well, that did absolutely nothing. So there you go. The JWR M2 from 1981.